let's take a look at number 13. It's a doozy. It had multiple steps um, to be able to come up with that answer, the answer of A. All right. So first of all, what happens is we know some facts. We know that to be acceptable, we need to have that nitrate level lower than 5. Okay, so here we know that fact, all right, so as to not harm the fish. Now, it varies though. It does tell us it is approximately normal, so I'm probably going to be doing normal probabilities here, okay? Um, now, and it says that it is centered around 3, so I know that that mean is at 3. All right, now, the next thing it tells me is a little alarming because it didn't tell me a standard deviation. Most of the times when they say it has a mean of this and a standard deviation of this, um, but they didn't tell me the standard deviation next. So that was like, hmm, they're leaving out some information. I, really, I need to have that standard deviation. So that was the first thing that came to my mind as I was reading what they were giving me. I could tell that very important item was missing. So they do give me this other item of information, the probability that the nitrate level is less than 2 is 0 0.0918. So I can visualize from this 2 down. Now that's not two standard deviations. That's you know the x value of 2. So that means I can tell, I could figure out this location. I could figure out the standard deviations that this it, where 2 is located. And I can figure out the standard deviations, the z-score, where 2 is located because it has 9.18% below it. So I can do that inverse norm of the area below is the z at that spot. So that was the key. If you knew to say inverse norm of the area below is the z at 2 parts per million, then that's negative 1.33. So then I first, I said, okay, now I can get my standard deviation because I have the x, two parts per million, minus the mean over the standard deviation, and that's at negative 1.33. So I solved, and I got 0.7519 for the standard deviation. Now I have the mean, and I have the standard deviation. So now I can um, get the probability that I will have this section here, parts per million are greater than or equal to 5. So I did that. Then I got my z-score, 5 minus the mean over the standard deviation. Got 2.66. I norm CDF'd that. And that's how I got that little bitty amount of 0 0.0039. Okay? All right. So there's the end of that number 3. Number 13. Sorry.